Hi, my name is David Caruana, one of the founding engineers here at Alfresco and also the architect for Alfresco's content services. In this video, I'll provide an overview of content modeling, a key capability of the platform that enriches your content with additional meaning and understanding. With this, we can improve the search and discovery of content, the tracking of content through its life and business processes, and also the transformation of content as it travels through systems within your organization. When we first started Alfresco, content modeling was one of the initial capabilities that we designed and built in from the ground up, and it is present in all of our capabilities. It is this ubiquity that distinguishes our platform from many others out there. So let's get on with content modeling. There isn't a one size fits all for classifying content, depending upon your business requirements. We allow users to classify content with types, aspects, and associations. A type is a kind of object that describes the metadata that is desired. For example, an invoice document is a type, and its metadata may include an invoice date. It's kind of like providing an object-oriented view onto your content, but as business analysts know, the real world doesn't always fit into that rigid hierarchical view. To offer more flexibility, we'd invented the idea of an aspect, a reusable bundle of metadata that can be applied across types. For example, we can encapsulate the information required for a review process in an aspect and then apply that across document types that are under review. This is a really powerful construct for modeling all sorts of domains and use cases. Types and aspects may be grouped into a model and deployed with ease. Under the covers, we have special key value oriented stores that allow this flexibility so that we can deploy without requiring changes to the underlying physical schema. So how does a business capture metadata against content? One way is to rely on a user to manually enter the metadata. We offer forms that may be defined by business admin or generated from a content model. With forms, it's still time consuming to manually enter the data and it may not always be consistent. In recognition of this, we offer automated metadata capture. Many document formats encode metadata in their file. For example, an image document often carries its resolution and size. Our platform can recognize the format of content and automatically extract the metadata with our metadata extractors. With the advent of artificial intelligence, we can take our metadata to the next level. Rather than extracting what is already there, we can gain new insight into content. This is possible by combining our platform with cloud-based AI services. Recognition from AWS can identify the things residing in an image. We can also apply AI to content to determine its semantic meaning and sentiment, and also to generate a summarized version. All of this insight can be captured as metadata in our repository. A surprising amount of time is wasted finding the content you need. You can organize your content in folders just like you do on your desktop. However, this is a manual exercise and it's not always obvious how best to structure your folder hierarchy. We offer a search with the simplicity of Google and the power of being able to search both a combination of metadata and content. Even with this, you may get a large set of search results. So we also offer faceted search. This feature automatically categorizes your results into multiple categories based on metadata. This can then be used by users to refine their search results. Let's go back to folders. Imagine having the familiarity of folders, but the power of search. We call those smart folders. A smart folder is one whose hierarchy is driven from a search. They're like a save search presented as a folder. With this, your hierarchy is organized automatically and matches how you wish to find contents for your use case. Fasted search and smart folders are more examples of the power of custom metadata. Content has a life cycle which is driven by the needs of the business. For example, content may be subject to review, where reviewers can edit content, and when published, it's available for all to see. How do we bring those flows to life? We offer rules, which may be attached to folders. A rule makes decisions based on metadata as content enters the folder, 
and can then invoke an action. We have actions for all of the capabilities in our platform. For example, a rule can transform a document to PDF and then set its status metadata to published. There are situations where content compliance and operating procedures require a more formal process. For this, we've also exposed our content capabilities inside process definitions. This means those rules and decisions based on metadata and actions for operating on content are also right there in our process modeling and tooling services. Governance of content is becoming increasingly important. Through content models, we can define dynamic, sophisticated access controls called security marks. For example, we can declare a document top secret or confidential, and thus it's only accessible to those who have the appropriate clearance. Business processes tend to flow across systems. A Fresco's service-oriented design makes it ideal for plugging into a broad IT infrastructure, whether that's in your own data center or in the public cloud. We offer many integrations with third-party systems such as Salesforce and SAP, where the content and metadata mapping is automatically done for you. We also have the ability to capture emails directly into the Alfresco repository. Remember back to metadata capture. We can extract information about each email and store that in a content model, which makes organization and retrieval much simpler. This is incredibly important for governance archival and information requests. You can build your own integrations using our process for orchestration and our public REST API. You can use CMIS for accessing and managing your content and metadata using an industry standard. We've always believed in open APIs and open standards for getting the most out of your content and metadata. Thank you for joining me. I hope it's been helpful to give you an overview of our content modeling capabilities and how they're valuable for supporting many digital business use cases. I encourage you to download Afresco and try it out for yourself and also to go and view the other videos in our series.